by the Ministry of Planning, Development and Special Initiatives, Government of Pakistan. Mr. Asin is a renowned development communication professional, overseeing effective communication strategies for planning, development and special initiatives across Pakistan. He has played a vital role in dis uh, disseminating crucial information to the public, policymakers, and stakeholders, ensuring transparency and accountability in government initiatives. Mr. Asin will introduce the seminar objectives and agenda, as well as the key takeaways in highlighting of CPAC. Please welcome Mr. Muhammad Asin Khan. Assalamu alaikum, Nihal. His Excellency Ambassador Gyan De Dong, Mr. Zafar Hassan, Project Director, China Pakistan Economic Corridor, Ministry of Planning, Development and Special Initiative. Good morning and warm welcome to the International Conference on CPAC, Enhancing Community with a Shared Future for Mankind. It's really an honor and privilege to address you today. Our gathering today reflects our shared vision and commitment to exploring the immense potential of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and its role in fostering brighter future for our communities and beyond. I'm particularly honored to have a long association with China-Pakistan Economic Corridor since its, since its inception. I had the privilege of witnessing the signing of its framework agreement in 2015 and serving as its first spokesperson. The Belt and Road Initiative launched by the Honorable President Xi Jinping and CPAC being its flagship project in Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, this conference aims to achieve the following objectives highlight the strategic significance of CPAC, discussing historical context, strategic goals, and transformative impact of China-Pakistan economic corridor on regional and global scales. Secondly, review key achievements and milestones to reflect on the progress made during phase one and to analyze the significant infrastructural and energy projects that have been commissioned. Thirdly, discuss current and future energy projects to explore the ongoing and future energy projects that are vital for sustainable uh, economic growth and development. And fourth objective is promoting cooperation and collaboration to foster dialogue on industrial relocation, transport infrastructure, and environmental challenges. And fifth goal is enhance socio-economic development and connectivity. Our conference is structured into three key sessions, each addressing critical aspects of China-Pakistan economic corridor. Like session one, we will be discussing strategic significance and infrastructure development of China-Pakistan economic corridor. This session will provide a comprehensive overview of the historical background, strategic goals, key milestones achieved in phase one, and it will also cover the significant energy projects that have been installed and their impact on the region and well-being of the people of Pakistan. And second session will be discussing cooperation under framework of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and we will have a special focus on the cooperative framework of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and the topics of discussion will include industrial relocation, progress on transport infrastructure projects, environmental challenges and opportunities and challenges associated with special economic zones. And third session, we will be discussing socio-economic development and China-Pakistan Economic Corridors Phase 2 for regional connectivity. Our final session will explore socio-economic development and regional connectivity under China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Phase 2. And the key topics will include 
new corridor proposals, agricultural cooperation, cultural exchange and socio-economic challenges and opportunities for regional integration. And we expect few key takeaways for all of the participants, like in-depth understanding of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Framework and the achievements till now, then networking opportunities like engaging with experts, policy makers and stakeholders to foster collaboration and build partnerships. Thirdly, insights into the best practices, learn from case studies and discussions on successful projects and initiatives under China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Similarly, we will learn about policy recommendations contribute to, contributing to the development of actionable policy recommendations for successful implementation of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor projects. Last but not the least takeaway we expect is innovative solutions like exploring innovative solutions to address the challenges and leverage opportunities presented by the CPAC. All the closing guests, speakers and participants for joining us today and my special thanks to His Excellency Ambassador, People's Republic of China for his unwavering support and Mr. Khalid Taimur Akram whose dedicated efforts have been instrumental in actualizing this event. And then I must extend my sincere and heartfelt gratitude to my development communication and China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project teams, as well as senior officials of the Ministry of Planning, Development and Special Initiatives. Special thanks to esteemed Minister for Planning, Honorable Mr. Ahsan Iqbal for his patronage and Honorable Abbas Manzoor Sumra Secretary Planning for his guidance. I also acknowledge the efforts of Mr. Zafrul Hassan, Project Director China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, Mr. Muzammil Zia, Ms. Nadia Masood and Mr. Mahmood Hassan Abbasi. Additionally, I express my deep appreciation to many young unsung heroes who have been working tirelessly days and nights to make this event a reality exactly the way we envisioned it for today. Uh, lastly, I regret to inform that this session, as we know, was to be chaired by the Honorable Federal Minister for Planning, Mr. Ahsan Iqbal, but he is unable to join us in this session in particular due to the sudden convening of a cabinet meeting of the cabinet meeting he extends his warm regards to all the participants all the diplomats all conference speakers and scholars mr ekbal acknowledges the importance of this conference and deeply appreciates the efforts and contributions of all the stakeholders involved today he sends his best wishes for a successful and productive event. Thank you so much and I look forward for a productive and enlightening conference. Pakistan Zindabad.